Hi, this is David Golley from Pentagon Solutions and I'm going to address a common question I'm asked from a BIM workflow perspective and that's how Revit users actually share coordinate systems with the likes of Civil 3D or other AutoCAD users um, or even it could be um, other systems say exporting the likes of Bentley or other CAD systems. So you can see in here I have my Revit model which is a school and I also have my Civil 3D open. Now the Revit model is using uh, millimeters uh, as a coordinate system and my Civil 3D is actually um, in against the Irish grid. So it's got a fixed coordinate system plus it's in meters. If I ID the points, say the center line along this road, you can see the coordinates are quite um, off from the origin. So it's 304178.475 roughly for the center line of that road for the easting. So I've got to make the actual Revit model fit to the correct coordinates from an export perspective. So again, you would only need to do this once uh, within the Revit model. So we can simply go to site. And traditionally, we just draw north up on the screen because it makes it easier to actually detail and build the model. So rather than change the actual site um, uh, plan, default plan uh, view that um, comes in the template, I'm just going to say duplicate. Um, I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to call it 17 site plan true north. And what we do is we change the view properties of it rather than project north to true north. So we've got to work out what our rotation is against true north in here. So I've, I've already, we can see this in against this model in here. Okay, and that, that's 31.774 degrees. So I'm just going to simply change that information. Um, and again, you could take that from the civil plan, civil user plan, or they could give you this information. So under manage, I'm going to go to position, rotate true north. I'm going to grab the rotation symbol, put it in a position like so. And I'm going to simply say rotate 31.774. And again, you'll see that the plan is rotated. Now that's not great for detailing. We just still traditionally, particularly for cooking and parking bays or anything like that, but it hasn't impacted my actual site plan in here. So you can see I've made a duplicate copy of it and I've said make that rotate at the true north. But we also have to specify the coordinates at the point. So under manage or under annotate, if we had a look at the coordinates and did a spot coordinate, we would see these aren't the coordinates we actually want. So what we're going to do here is simply say specify coordinates of point. So we go to manage, coordinates, and specify coordinates of point. Again, we can hover in here, click the point that we want to specify, and we can type in our physical coordinates. So I'm going to say 304, 176, 800. Bearing in mind this is a millimetre, so I need to add those three uh, extra, or past the three decimal places in there. So I'm going to go in for my northing, which is 390, 736, 156. Again, I can specify my elevation as well. So I'm simply going to hit OK. So at this, we're now ready to export this out the AutoCAD. So the Revit user can maintain this information because this is where the accurate survey and site plan data has actually come from, say from a topographical survey. So he can actually keep this within the actual model. As for the Revit user, he just simply details north up, as you can see in the floor plans. So let's go back into this site. How do we export it? Click on the R button, go to export, CAD formats, and DWG. Again, you want to take it out the MicroStation user or a DGN file or a um, SAP file, you, you've got the options in there. I'm simply going to go to DWG. An important critical part in here is the actual coordinates. You can see the ellipsis or the AutoCAD continuation button as I would call it. If you go modify uh, setup, go to units and coordinates, make sure it's meters and make sure it's shared. It's using the share coordinates from the model and it's going to, ex uh, it's going to export in meters. So if I hit OK, and next, let's give this a name. We're going to call it uh, Civil Detailed Site Plan. Again, we can export previous versions of AutoCAD if we want. I'm going to go back into my Civil 3D, and I'm simply just going to attach that in as an external reference. So we'll just have a look for that in the list. Civil 3D Detailed Site Plan, and we'll head open. The units, it automatically understands its meters. The origin, I'm simply going to keep a 000 because it knows the coordinate system and hit OK. And buying my actual site plan will come in. This allows the civil user to go and build their corridor information because I can actually do my road design now. 
um, I can pick my design road, um, my assemblies that I want to use, and the actual physical target surface, which in this case is existing ground. So I've got my civil 3D, I'm going to rebuild the corridor, information tying into my actual Revit model. Um, any changes made to the model now, the Revit user can simply export them myself. I'm more interested in the physical road design aspects of it, so again, we can bring that detail in. I'm David Cawley from Pentagon Solutions. Thanks for listening.